Okay, ready, go. Ready, go. Okay, let's take a look at your swing. Go. So first, your back swing is really small here. Okay. This is because mainly in the back swing, you are lifting the arm and club up here. Okay. Using, uh, so using the arms. Yep. And you're only reaching about this high here. Gotcha. And then on the way down, if you look at the club head motion, first of all, you, have, you don't have that much uh, club head motion here, so it stops about here. On the way down, you let the club head go away from your body early on here. So from here, if we go down, By the time your left arm is parallel to the ground, the club is almost vertical. Mm -hmm. So when you let the club go away from your body early on, it's hard to generate the speed. Okay. And then, so what happens is when you let the club go this way, your body opens here. Yeah. That body motion and then the club motion are not well um, orchestrated. Mm -hmm. So lower body motion on its own, and your arm motion on its own, club motion on its own, or separated. Yep. And after the swing, go oh, like this. So uh, yeah. you need to lead the motion with the, the body. So uh, in the back swing, we need to speed up the back swing. I keep saying the same thing pretty much <laughs> to everybody, yeah. but uh, you need to speed up the back swing, okay. and then let the club go a bit more. Now, when we have a bigger back swing, then we may see uh, that the club moving this way because you're using your arms here. And when you try to increase the back swing size, then ten the tendency is you, will, you may have a crossover posture. Okay. So uh, we have to see, and then we have to adjust the way the club moves. And then down the line view, go. Yeah, you have the a sign of a crossover here. Mm -hmm. yep. So Close. your hand, mm -hmm. the swing plane goes from the ball to the middle section of the trunk here. Mm -hmm. the, your hand stays clo closer to the swing plane, but the, your club head is way mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. So from here, if you continue the back, if you increase the back yeah, size, then you will definitely have a crossover issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is yeah. A, a lot of crossover. Yeah. This is swing plane. Yeah. yeah. It's because, it's because you try to keep gazing the ball with a direct gaze here. Mm -hmm. And then, you pick, so in other words, you don't let the, the face turn or shoulder turn enough. So what happens is you just go low here. Then the hand stays closer to the swing plane, but your clear head is way away. So what you need to do is throw the club and they use the momentum of the club and then let it go instead of, yeah. Okay. So this is uh, quite, uh, this problem is quite common. Yeah. Particularly uh, relatively uh, older uh, golfers okay. with a long history of uh, you know, playing. Yeah. Um, so we need to uh, increase the backing speed. Okay. And particularly in your case, you're going flat here. Yeah. Flat and you're lifting. Okay. So uh, there will be a backswing plane issue. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's start with the the E, the e bell. Yeah. This is uh, called the Ericsson bell. Yeah. Or in short, we call it the E bell. But um, so the nice thing about this is that this has a plane here, so you can actually move the, move it along the plane. Uh, you don't have to go too far. Yeah. So maybe about a shoulder height, yeah. height here, okay. and then as you uh, go back slightly, yeah, yeah. So in the middle, stay in the middle of the mat, and as you swing, try to use the, your your legs here. So in other words, yeah. leave the arms here, and then use your legs. That way, you can throw the throw the board both ways. Yeah. So now remember what you do uh, on this side. 
you are letting your arm go this way instead of yeah so keep that way then later when you use your club you have to come up with a similar motion throw throw have the feel of throwing it's too high too high you don't have to go that high so this one instead of creating a large motion mm -hmm. basically you learn the rhythm here yeah. so even if it's a small motion here using the leg action and the rhythmic leg action let it go let it go let it go let it go so try to have a little bit of dance up and down yeah. and I try to uh, keep the the evil motion consistent and then imagine a swing going up and down and up and down up and down. So feel the motion of the e bell because the goal is to move the e bell nicely. So you have to create a, a nice and consistent e bell motion. Yeah. Again, use the low body more. Let's have a little bit of up and down motion. Bend, the, bend your your knee and extend. Yeah. So uh, remember this, okay. so particularly in the backswing side. So when you move, you have to let it go more laterally okay. instead of trying to pull it in here. So the, when, you, when you pull this in, then it just causes a chain effect. When it goes in, okay. the backswing plane is really flat, and then you cannot go any further than you try to lift it up. Okay. And naturally, you have crossover. Yeah. When you cross over, and you have two choices, either you quickly open the body and then let it go, uh -huh. or just uh, severely outward the swing plane. Okay. So it, it's important to prevent uh, you know, a, a flat, too, too flat a, a, a back swing plane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, so here's a rope. The rope is uh, flexible, so uh, you will not be able to manipulate it. Yeah. And then, uh, so you have to guide the rope properly with your body motion. And that's, uh, remember the evil uh, motion here. One hand, both hands. But the goal here is to move the end of the rope fast around your body. Yeah. Pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. Oh, just to keep one, one big stroke instead of uh, swinging a okay. few times. Yeah, yeah all the way. Ah, it's too slow, it's too slow. Make it best. Okay. So, try to simplify your body motion and try to come up with a good, fast motion of the rope here. Okay. So your goal is to keep uh, best motion of the rope. Currently the swing plane is too steep. The swing plane is too steep. Yeah. Try to uh, stay in the middle and then aim this here. Although you are not touching this, sure. but the plane should be more going toward the tip. Keep swinging, swing, swing, yeah, keep swinging, okay, so let's see what you are currently doing, yeah, keep swinging, okay, the swing, the down swing plane is quite outward, yeah, it's because the way you're bringing uh, the, the rope back here. Yeah. You're going back. You're going back here, yeah. too far back. Mm. And then, so uh, in this one, what I see is uh, you are just uh, moving your arms like this here. Mm -hmm. You don't really give speed to the rope. Your intention here is just the arm motion here. Okay. Instead, let it go around your body. 
pay attention to the end of the rope. Faster. And then try to swing toward me. So I will stay on the left side of the target. Okay. So you should be able to swing uh, this way. Mm, it's a, yeah. So when you start the back swing, if you bring the hands in like this, uh -huh. you are repeating the same thing. Okay. Instead, throw and let it go. Like here? Yeah. As, uh, as you did in the event. And the one thing you have to be uh, careful is, um, so the back swing plane and down swing plane are all connected. Right. And if your down swing plane is outward, from here, naturally, you will go in. Yeah. Okay. So the yeah. downswing plane should be bored this way. Yeah. And from there, you have to guide it. So you have to image the swing plane yeah. uh, like right. that. Yeah. yeah, this is almost done now. Yeah. So imagine you are swinging along that yeah. plane here. Yeah. So horizontal to horizontal, you have yeah. to uh, stay on the swing plane. Yeah. But if you pull it in, you will hit the, yeah. hit the board. Yeah. Okay. So you have to image it the plane, the target plane, and okay. then moving the, uh, the hands and uh, rope along that. In the back swing, if you don't let the pelvis shift that way, okay, yeah. watch, watch, watch this, watch this. Yeah. If you don't let the pelvis shift that way, and only the hip goes backward, and then your leg goes this way, then you, you have the tendency of turning this way, and then it goes uh, inward here. Yeah. You have to, what you have to change is bring the hip high up, go this way here, mm -hmm. so that you don't turn this way. And also, if you have the feel of your upper body going this way, then already you are going inward. So from here, so your face, to go to the, so from there, when you turn backward, yeah, you have to go in this position. Mm -hmm. Yes. So bring the left shoulder low and the right shoulder high. Mm -hmm. In this way, then you will, your pelvis will move more and you don't pull it inward, okay. right? And then, as you move that way, as you move that way, instead of trying to lift this with your arms, just throw it, let it go. Let it go, then the momentum will bring it up here. Okay. So you don't have to intentionally guide this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Throw, right. throw, so by using the leg action, as you push the ground with the leg, it promotes turn about the spine axis. With that, you're throwing the rope. Yeah. So again, the key is moving the end of the rope around your body. Ooh, ooh. Mm, back swing is slow, back swing is slow. Slower back swing? Faster, faster, faster. a lot faster. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then in doing that, relax your body. Yeah. It looks too, too tense. Yeah. Yeah. Because the goal is to move the rope around your body. Yeah. Even if uh, you have really uh, easy motion here, still, if your goal is to move the rope around your body, you can do that. Sure. Without much body motion here. So your goal is to really move the rope using the body. Okay. But uh, in the back swing, what you do is... <laughs> Part motion is big, but actually, you're not running the rope that fast. The key is uh, moving the rope faster around your back. The swing plane is too steep. 
flatten it. Yeah, for once. That's better. And then have a dance, dance. The up and down motion. As if you're dancing. Oh, yes. So it's not about the effort from the upper body. Yeah. The effort coming from the lower body. And then briskly, uh, you know, dance, dance. Uh, and then also when you swing the rope, you don't have to swing that hard. Okay. Just go easy. Okay. But still you can give enough speed here. Relax and throw. Throw is a <laughs> yeah, so go easy. Okay. Easy but fast. The rhythmic motion, the, yeah. the advantage of rhythmic motion is that you can predict the motion okay. because you are using the same rhythm. The same, yeah. Then you will fire the muscles at the right time. The, the, the right muscle will be fired at the right time. Yeah. So you eliminate all the unnecessary contractions of the muscles. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's the, the, the main advantage of having rhythmic motion. Right. Because you can predict everything. Because you're using the same rhythm same repeated, rhythm. right? Then the muscle contraction okay. should be uh, you know easier. Yes, it looks easier now. Okay, here. And the part of the reason why your swing plane becomes uh, steeper uh -huh. is because on the way down, this is coming down too much. Yeah. From the beginning, you are bringing this oh, down. Yeah. Then try to do this. That's okay. why the swing plane is outboard. Okay. Also becomes uh, uh, steeper. Okay. When the swing plane becomes outward, then it tends to be a steeper. When the swing plane is inward, then it tends to be a uh, uh, flatter. Uh -huh. Now, this elbow motion, if it just comes down here and then try to do this, then you have stuck elbow, and the swing plane becomes uh, steeper yeah. and also more outward. Okay. So instead, the elbow has to come in front of your body. That way, squeeze it. It's almost like a squeezing. Yeah. Instead of dropping here, pulling down, squeezing this way, and then let it go here. That way, you can turn this way easier. You can keep the swing plane uh, flat. Ah, uh, it's too here. Mm -mm. No. So there is too much uh, arm motion like this. Okay. It has to come from body motion. You're throwing the throwing the arms. No, 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 throwing yeah. the arms. Throwing. Oh, it's uh, so intentional. It's uh, manufactured. Yeah. Instead, here, throw. Okay. Tough arm throw. Yes. 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 When you start the drawing motion, yeah. instead of dropping it downward, yeah. go a bit more forward. Yeah. Now, with that motion, okay. try to throw the rope this way here. I'm standing on the left side of the target. So you should be able to adjust all this. So let's go this way. Let's, let's try to go this way. So from here, uh -huh. if you come this way, so you can turn this way here. But if you come down this way, then always you're going outward. So still you're going down too much. Uh -huh. Try to turn around this way. And then pull it this way. Throw the, throw the rope leftward. Yes, like that. Hmm. And then in doing that, in doing that, if your backswing goes always low here and then to lift here, it's hard to turn. You have to bring the. So keep it out on the board. Yeah, you have to adjust the backswing plane here and yeah. then turn this way. Yeah. So have the feel of uh, supinating the forearm here. Yeah. And come down here and then pronation here. Not this way. Here, turn this way. Okay. And this way. Yes. Mm. Yeah. If you want to move your arm this way here, yeah. if you go here, okay, go in and then lift, yeah. it's turning this way is really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will just 
lift the arm a bit higher. Yeah. They keep uh, supination here. Yeah. From here, come down and then pronation. Yeah. So your goal is to swing and then pronate the right forearm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. That's the left hand. So keep swinging. Keep swinging. Keep more pronation to this side, to this way. Okay. Keep more pronation to this side, to this way. Okay. Yeah. So, in the downswing, yeah. go up here and then turn this way here. Yeah. Bring this in front of your body and then turn this way. Okay. Then in order to go a bit flatter here, then you will have to go a bit higher here. Higher here and then turn flat. Higher and then turn flat here. Okay. Hmm. As you do, it's not just a matter of uh, the hand motion, okay. yeah. but you have to guide the end of the rope along that path. Currently, yeah. oh, when you start the backswing, the rope, end, end of the rope is always already going inward. Yeah. So even if your hand goes high, the rope will go around here. You have to throw the end of the rope more laterally. Again, the main thing is the motion of the end of the rope. Yeah. You are controlling yeah. this one here. So imagine you are hitting a target here with the end of the rope. Then you have to hit it this way here. Let it go and hit. And then if you continue, hit and then it will be here. But if you bring the rope in, then it's a problem. Yeah. So from the beginning, when you start the back swing, yeah. you have to guide the rope more that way. Okay. So you, unless you change the back swing plane, it's hard to uh, do anything in the down swing plane. Mm -hmm. So, in the backswing, if you want to have uh, the backswing plane properly uh, uh, aligned here, instead of dropping the hand here, from here and then dropping the hand here, mm -hmm. let it go around your body. Even in the backswing, the rope has to go around your body. Okay. Around your body and then around your body. Around. 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 So, let it go around your body instead of dropping the plane. On the back swing. Mm. And on the back swing, it's not a matter of there, but it's a matter of here. It's from the beginning here. Right. You have to uh, guide it correctly. So let's, let's start from uh, this side first. Mm -hmm. So when you start the back swing, yeah. the opening body early and then, and then arm is pulling. Instead, Throw it around as if you are left-handed. Okay, you're simply just pulling the from this position. You keep pulling the hand back here. Instead, from here, turn around. Okay. In the beginning of the back swing, turn around instead of pulling. Okay. When you pull this, it always goes uh, inward. Yeah. Swing it here. Swing it around. Swing, swing okay. around. Instead of bring it down. Yeah, like that. And then bring it down, so that, and then aim the, the team. Yeah. Still, end of the back swing, your elbow is going My backwards, back, 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 yeah, backwards too much. So here, as you go this way here, if you let the rope oh, go, yeah. I gotta keep this the ball, ball is going this way here instead of. Yeah, when when the 
elbow goes backward, yeah. this way here, that there's no way to rope go this way here, sir. Yeah. So try to try to keep the elbow in front of your body. Yeah. When you turn the body 90 degrees here, elbow is more in front of your body instead yeah. of here. Yeah. If this goes all the way here, then you always have a crossover issue. And also, that doesn't have to be intentional arm motion here. You have, when you give enough speed to the end of the rope, mm -hmm. because the speed it will go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Because of speed it will go. So your goal is to give enough speed here. Instead of pull it in and then try to lift. Just let it go around. Okay. So you have a spine axis here. Yeah. Turn it around the spine axis. Just give enough speed and then let it go around your back. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a lot better now. Yep. Yep. And then make the backswing a bit faster. Backswing faster. So use the rope speed, speed of the rope, and then let it go all the way to wrap around your body. Swing. Keep swinging, and then dance, dance, dance. So you don't have to, uh, you know, put a lot of effort there. Enjoy the rhythm. Swing. Swing, swing, swing. Okay. Then you repeat this, uh, the, the pedal gets the pedal better. Okay. Swing, 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 swing. The yeah, well, elbow is yeah, uh, yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. These two are the earlier ones, and this is the last one. Ah, okay. Still and then on the way back, you are, you are turning the upper body too early. So from the end of the down here, okay. if your body turns too early, and then the arm pulls, then definitely you'll go in. So from here, slightly moving backward, and then turn around. Okay. This is called the shun rhythm, shift turn rhythm. Okay. Yep. It works both ways. So from the end of the backswing, when you go to downswing, you have a, a little bit shift and then turn here. The same thing, after you finish this, you have a little bit shift to the right and then turn here. Okay. Instead of just a turn. Yeah. When you're from here, just a turn, yeah. the right leg does not allow your pelvis to go that way. And then the pelvis goes backward. With that, the body leans this way, inward motion here. So from here, shift it to the right, slightly, and then turn around and stand on the right side here. Then the right side will become your foundation in the back side. Mm -mm. So always when you start the back swing, the first motion is this here, instead. Mm, and turn. So let's practice without the rope. Put your arms here. So the idea is, so at the end of the downswing, always shift backwards this way slightly, and then turn here, and then turn, 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 turn. turn. Oh, the the backswing always uh, you're you're reluctant to shift it this way, yeah. and then try to yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. Turn, shift and turn, shift and turn, shift and turn on the left side. Shift and turn on the right side. Okay. Shift, shift and turn on the left side. Shift and turn on the right side. Yeah. So, when you start the back swing with the slight shift motion, then you'll be able to drop this here, and then go this way, instead of? So the bottom line is, you should be able to nicely move the rope. You should be taller. Yeah, you should be, be able to move the, the rope nicely around your body. Swing, 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 swing. Using the shoulder turn, try to throw the rope instead of using the arms.
keep the hands uh, lower on this side. Yeah. Then throw the rope. Throw the rope. Swing the rope really fast both ways. Swing. And then find find the consistent plane back and forth. Then you're, you're putting a lot of effort in this. You're, you are putting a lot of effort in the, uh, in the rope swing. Yeah. No need to do that. Your body has to be reasonably relaxed. And then try to pay attention to the motion of the rope. That's yeah. the uh, end outcome, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, wait, wait. This swing, you're not going to this position here. Not going to this position here. Instead, using the body and the throw, going to the, here. You have to keep you have to keep the hands more this way here. Yeah. yeah. This way, then it'll be here. Okay. But yeah. if this is uh, back pushed back. against yeah, your yeah, body, yeah. then it's different. Both ways. You have the tendency on this side, oh on this side, okay, you'll go. On this side you're going here. Swing and keep it away from your body a little. Okay. Both ways. Yeah. Uh, Keep going from, uh, let me watch from this direction. In the back swing, go faster. Now, try to push the ground with the legs outward here. Push this way, push this way, push this way here. Okay. So limit your lateral motion. Right. Currently, you're moving too much. Okay. Particularly in the back swing, you're moving too much. That's why it's going in here. So throw the arms here. Throw the arms here. Imagine a triangular space here. Sure. Your head is not moving that much. The lower body can move quite a bit here. Throw, throw, throw. Instead of Head is going both ways, okay? Yeah. So throw here, throw here, throw here. Keep the head relatively stationary. Move the low, low body more. Hmm. Yeah. So kick the ground with the legs. The legs will control the, the whole thing here, okay? Yeah, so uh, inside, if you have a large enough uh, mirror, mirror. Yeah, full body mirror, yeah. that you can per perhaps put two tapes, inside. Yeah, defining the triangular space. Yeah. Or outside, put the sun behind you, and then put the two uh, sticks on the ground. Yeah. And using your shadow, you will be able to control the motion within the space. Okay. Yeah. But it's really important not to, not to sway. This is called this way. This is called sway. Yeah. If the top moves a lot, it's a sway. Uh -huh. If the pelvis goes like this, it's called a slide. Uh -huh. But you need to maintain a straight, almost straight posture here, straight posture here, yeah, by side. pushing the ground outward yeah. here yeah. and here. So you'll be able to uh, uh, limit the head motion, and the, that way you can really turn the body around your spine axis. Okay. So the pelvis has to move more okay. to keep the head yeah. relatively uh, stationary. Yeah. Okay. So again, so as as you as you swing, you are using the leg to promote this turn, yeah. turn, turn, turn action is actually coming from the leg action, and with that you try to turn about the spine axis. Yeah. And then again, throw the rope fast around your body. Yep. Throw both ways. You're throwing, 
throw the hand and rope, throw in the hand and rope, throw, so that you can use the momentum. Okay, <laughs> this is a lot more consistent now. Okay, so let me record this. That's a lot more consistent. Swing, swing, both ways, swing, throw, throw, throw. Whoa! <laughs> you see, right. your, your plane is now a lot more consistent. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Swing both ways, swing, throw, throw, throw. Whoa. Now your body motion is uh, simpler. Yeah. Okay. Even this one here, the second last one, still, but this is the, the last one. Yeah. See, the stroke is now fast, and your body is mainly turning around the spine axis. Yeah. So this is what we need to develop with the rope. Again, yeah. let me watch from here. Again, imagine the triangular space. You are confining your body motion within that. Yeah. And throw the rope first. Using the leg, and kick the ground in a turn, kick the ground in a turn, kick and turn. And then let the rope go all the way. Give good speed to the rope. Swing, 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 swing good. So your goal is to use the legs and then generate turn and then with that throw the ball. Swing, 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 swing good. Now the pelvis is going. It's going, yeah. That the uh, triangular uh, space here. And then what's important is as you do this, back swing, no fight here. No fight. Let it, let it go here to this position. Okay. And then ready for the next motion. Let it go. Instead yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the, that's uh, the, so the rope is really good for that. Yeah. Uh, then let's go to the orange rope here. Yeah. 